honeys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because for today's video, as you guys may have already seen the title, I'm gonna be reviewing Frankie Rose Cosmetic items. Yay! I am so excited. I've actually have always wanted to try Frankie Rose Cosmetics, but never really have gotten around it. Um, so I have a foundation, concealer, lip gloss, brow um, pencil, the um, Pro Contour Palette, which is powder, um, and then we have some um, falsies that I'm gonna be um, applying for today's tutorial. So, without further ado, before we do get started, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, click that little notification bell, which does notify you every single time that I upload a new video here on YouTube. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm a little worried because the foundation is in the shade Olive, which is the color that I picked normally because in MAC, I am normally a shade NC20 um, um, or NC25. Um, so I'm really praying to God that this matches me because I am a little self-tan. I did self-tan, so I'm a little bit darker. Um, so let's just pray to Jesus that this does um, fit my complexion. But first, let's go ahead and jump into brows because you guys already know that I do my eyebrows every single time. Um, before I go in with my complexion. So this is the Frankie Rose Cosmetics. This is the brow pencil in the shade Deep Brown, which I'm so glad they sent over this color because my hair is more on the dark brown side. So with that said, here we have the brow defining pencil, which they only have two colors, which I'm a little disappointed. Um, they only have light brown, and then this one is Deep Brown. They do run for $20, $20 each on their website. And now if you take off the other cap, it turns into a spoolie, so that is awesome. I love brow pencils, I do have a spoolie because whenever I apply my product, um, and then if I put too much product or I just wanna smooth out my eyebrows as I go, I just love that I can just turn this around and have a spoolie at the end. That is definitely a must when it comes to brow pencils. So let's go ahead and give this a whirl and see how this goes. So I'm gonna use the spoolie to buff out my brows. I'm gonna go ahead and lay it flat like this. And I always outline my brow, which is the step that I always do when it comes to doing my brows. Um, and then I start to fill in the rest. Um, and of course, using your spoolie to just brush out the product so that way it looks more natural versus harsh. Um, and of course, with this brow pencil, you guys, a little bit goes a long way. Um, I'm really liking the way that this filled in my eyebrow. Um, and now I'm just doing a mean face to get the um, outer corner of the brow or the, the tail of the brow. Does anybody else do that? <laughs> now with absolutely no product, I'm just buffing out the um, head of my brow. So that way this looks more, um, how would I say it? Um, more ombre. Yeah, I don't like this to look too boxy. I like it to look very nice and smooth out and ombre. So light and then dark. To clean up my brows, I am going to go into the Frankie Rose Cosmetics. Um, this is their concealer and this is in the shade Neutral C103 Neutral. So I'm going to go ahead and just carve out my eyebrow and clean this up a little bit. I will do a up close on the concealer once it's time to apply it to our skin. So for right now, let me go ahead and just clean up my eyebrow and do it really, really fast. So here is the before, super plain Jane, very boring. Um, and then we have the after, which is obviously more snatched, more Instagram brows, um, definitely ready to apply some eyeshadow, but I love it. It looks really, really snatched. Ooh. What do you guys think? Comment down below um, about this brow pencil. Um, so I actually really do like it. I feel like it looks really, really nice. Um, the only downside of this is that they only have two shades. And I just love that it has a spoolie at the end as well. So let me go ahead and do the other eye um, off camera and then I will be right back. Okay, so I am back. They did also send over some lashes. Um, I believe this is in the style Total Babe, I'm guessing. Um, these are it. I really love the packaging. The packaging is super cute. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the um, cajita. <laughs> oh, snap. And then here we have the lashes. Um, super cute, I love them. They look super wispy. Um, definitely my type of eyelash because it's nice and full and dark around the um, strip of the lash. Um, and you can tell that they are gonna be a really nice wispy set. So pretty. Once again, these are called Total Babe. Oh, I love lashes. Lashes definitely make such a huge, 
huge difference as you guys can tell no lash lash and they feel really comfortable the band is also really thin which is another plus when it comes to wearing falsies i hate wearing falsies that feel so heavy like the band I like when they feel nice and lightweight. So now it's time for skin. I am so, so excited to try this foundation. Um, so once again, this is the Frankie Rose Matte Perfection Foundation. So it's supposed to be matte. And I did get the shade Olive F104. Um, don't worry, I will link my um, color and all the products that I do use in today's video down below for you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and swatch this. So this is really interesting, as you guys can see here. I will put it up close. This looks weird. I wonder how you do you just... Oh, cute. So instead of having like the actual cap cap that foundations normally have, it just has this. That is so adorable. I've never seen that before. That is so cute actually. So better because I, I probably end up losing this too though. I always lose the caps of my foundations. I don't know why. I don't, does anybody else do that? I always lose them. It even has like a little arrow right there cute and it tells you which way to twist to apply some product how cute i love that i think this is going to fit me actually hopefully i think it's gonna be okay let's slap this on so it is more on like the watery side as you guys can see so i'm a little curious because it does say that it's a matte foundation and just so you know you guys my palms the palms of my hands are clean okay i i do sanitize them frequently especially if I'm doing my face makeup just in case anybody is wondering and thinks this is gross I'm just just used to doing this but my hands are clean okay okay so the foundation does feel pretty lightweight um not gonna lie um so I'm really curious to see how this is going to last as a matte foundation I don't know it looks glowy to me like it's giving me more like of a like uh, satin finish type of vibe like it doesn't feel matte it doesn't feel cakey either um which is a good thing actually when it comes to foundations because i do layer a lot um so i'm really curious to see definitely say that this is more like of a medium to full coverage um but it doesn't feel super super matte to be honest it actually feels really really comfortable on the skin um, so, so far so good. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish off the other side. Okay, so I just finished applying the foundation. So my thoughts, you guys, it, it's kind of interesting because it doesn't feel completely matte. So I have tried the L'Oreal Pro Infallible Foundation and that one, as soon as I put it on, it feels matte automatically as well as my Maybelline um, Super State Foundation. It feels super matte um, like as soon as I apply it and I allow it to sit for a few minutes. This one, um, it doesn't feel feel completely matte like it's really really strange it feels actually really lightweight um but i really like the way that my skin actually looks in it um like it looks glowy it looks youthful i don't know it feels really nice on my skin um i can move around and do my facial expressions and i don't feel like it's super super matte um, I'm really curious to see after I apply my setting powder and the rest of my makeup how it's going to look But I mean so far so good. I feel like it fit my skin tone right now just perfect um, So up next let's go ahead and apply the concealer um, Once again, I got the shade neutral C103 The concealer does run for $25 and they do have nine shades on their website um, it, it is great for your fine lines dark circles. It does give you a full to like natural coverage um, but I really, really like the coverage when I was um, carving out my eyebrows. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start to apply it in the areas that I normally always do, which is on the sides of my nose, um, underneath my under eye. And then I also like to apply it towards the outer corners of my eyes, which this really helps to like lift the eye area as well as make your concealer look really, really snatched once it's all blended out. <laughs> and then of course my forehead, the bridge of my nose and on my chin is where I normally apply my concealer. And of course to blend out my concealer, I do use my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Now I did want to let you guys know that the concealer dries really fast. Um, you guys already know that I like to apply my concealer and let it sit there for a little bit. Um, and like while I cream contour, which I already did. Um, so this does um, dry really fast. So try your best to blend it out as soon as you can. Maybe not leave it there for quite some time. But I will say that it still gave me enough time to blend it out. 
um, and it provided really, really, really good coverage. I'm just curious to see if it's going to settle into my fine lines and I really can't wait to see what it's going to look like once I do apply the rest of my product. But overall, it, the blendability is amazing. It gave me, you know, decent, good coverage um, and it doesn't feel cakey or heavy under my eyes either. So next, let's go ahead and go into the Frankie Rose Pro Contour Palette. So here we have, it also came with a little guide if you guys are brand new at like um, cream contouring and all that good stuff, it gives you the steps here, um, which is really, really awesome for beginners. So here is the um, Pro Contour Palette. And when you do open it up, you have six shades. So you have Mellow Yellow, uh, which is over here. And then we have Doll Face. And then we have Sultry um, Glow. And then uh, down here we have Whisper, we have Heated, and then we have Tempting. Um, so I am more on like the, even though I am tan, I do like a bronzer that's a little bit more on like the grayish, uh, more like bronzier side rather than like red and orange. I don't like a red or orange um, bronzer. Um, I feel like these two shades right here are perfect for me. Um, so if you are more on my skin tone, I definitely say these two are the best. And of course, if you want to intensify a little bit more and make it look a little bit more darker, which I think I might do today since I am more on the bronzier side, I'm going to go into a little bit of this just to test it out. And then you have these shades right here. This is a highlighter. And then you have these two to um, bake underneath the eye, which I'm going to try today and do it with my sponge since I've been loving a more of a pressed powder underneath my under eye um, and also just to test it out for you guys. And I'm going to go into this Morphe brush. It is super old as you guys can tell but I absolutely love this little guy to um, contour to apply my bronzer. So let's go ahead and pick up this shade right here and let's go ahead and start to apply it towards the sides and towards the cheek area. You guys already know that I love to do this first. And then I'll go into my powder to set everything because I absolutely love the way that the bronzer looks. Once after you've applied your creams, it just looks so much better. There's no lifting, no separation once I apply my powder. So I do want a little bit more of darkness. So I'm going to go into this shade right here again. This one's called Tempting. I'm th I think that's what it's called. And still using the same brush. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. So it definitely gives it more of a more darkness. <laughs> and I always do circular motions all the time when I'm applying my bronzer. I feel like it applies it a lot better versus if you just go like this and start to go like this. I feel like it starts to, that's when people start to get really scared when it comes to contouring <laughs> or applying your bronzer. You definitely don't want to just go and then. You know, because it's just staying right there. I just always like to use circular motions. So you grab the product and then before you start to um, touch the product with your onto your skin, just start to go like this and then touch the skin. And I just like it so much better. That's how it gives you more of an airbrushed look. Um, versus a more harsh look, you know what I mean? Okay, so I'm gonna go into this shade right here in the middle because I feel like this is too, too yellow for me. So I'm just gonna use the butt and I'm just gonna go in like this. And what we're gonna do is start to just push it into the skin like this. Ooh, yes. I'm just gonna go into the middle, you guys, into this shade right here. And I'm just going to set my nose here on the side. And I'm just taking a fluffy brush just to smooth out the white powder. And then for highlight, I'm going to go into this shade right here. And I'm just going to apply it on my cheekbones right here. This is pretty. So pretty. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and um, just smoke out my lower lash line and apply a lip pencil. And then I'm going to show you guys the last product, which is the gloss. So give me just one second and I'll be right back. So I have the Frankie Rose Cosmetics Lip Gloss in the shade Girl Boss. Um, so here we have this color. It's more of like of a like a pinky rosy. It does have a little bit of like glitter reflex in the bottle. I'm not a huge fan of glittery lip glosses, to be 100% honest with you guys. Um, oh, but this color is pretty though. Look at that color. 
actually really really nice so now that i'm applying it i'm really liking how it's um pigmented um and it does give me you know it, it does apply a good amount of product on my lips normally with glosses i do have to like double dip and go back into the tube to pick up some more product um but i'm still on my first you know um, swatch of the lips of the gloss and it absolutely looks beautiful um, and the glosses do run for $18 um, and they do have 22 shades online once again the one that I'm using right now is called girl boss and I'm very impressed because I didn't think it was gonna look this pretty <laughs> I am obsessed all right, my honeys, and that's pretty much it for today's video on me using all of these Frankie Rose cosmetics. I am so in love with today's glam. So simple and pretty and very effortless, and my skin just looks so bomb right now. I can't wait to take pictures for Instagram. Um, of course, you guys, if you are interested in any of these products, I do have a personal code if you guys are wanting to use that. It is Sandy J. I will link all the links down below. Uh, Frankie Cosmetics was so generous and they also thought about you guys and so they gave me my own personal code. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe before you leave my channel today. Besitos, los quiero mucho, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!